We're back with another Pico CTF challenge, this time bases. Description. What does, and then we have a string of characters, mean? I think it has something to do with bases. It's a valuable skill to learn because you'll frequently, when you're looking at a program or trying to reverse something, you'll come across these long strings of characters that don't have any apparent meaning on first glance. The best advice I can give you is to look at the characters that are included to try to figure out what the possible encoding or base might be. In this case, what I can see is we have lowercase, uppercase, and numbers. So immediately, I think base 64, because if we look at a table, we can see we have first 64 values from 0 to 63. And we have the uppercase characters, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, the lowercase characters, the numbers, and the plus and division sign. The padding is equals as used as padding. So if we take this over to rapid tables and wanted to experiment with that and see if it meant anything, we would see that this turns into a series of bytes, which can then decimal bytes, which look a lot like ASCII. Learn the ropes. I'd like to show you one other way to do this though, using a tool called CyberChef. Obviously, it's, it could be very difficult to decide exactly what the right uh, transformation to apply. So based on this, we can look and we can see, yeah, it looks like uppercase and lowercase, but maybe, maybe it's just most of the uppercase and some of the lowercase. I, I don't really know. And it's hard to figure out what transform you should apply. CyberChef is a tool that was put out by the equivalent of, I guess they're the British CIA. If you give an input, it has this little wand if it can figure out a possible output that makes sense. Here it's saying, from base 64, this will produce learn the ropes if we hit this magic wand. And what the magic wand is doing is it's doing the exact same thing we talked about. It's looking at the characters that are present. It's saying, what could this possibly be? And then it's checking. And it checks by actually applying that transform, looking at the output. And if it looks like something meaningful based on whatever heuristics it has, it does the transform. The transforms can be defined in this recipe list. So for example, we are taking our input, we're piping it through this from base 64, and then it goes to the output. We could add more things, for example, taking something to hex, and then the input would go through from base 64 to hex. We could add even more if we wanted to. For example, remove null bytes. Won't actually do anything in this case since we don't have any null bytes. But how about to uppercase in the middle? That should have a result. Let's see what the result is by turning off these prior guys. And we can see that learn the rope has become all uppercase. And if we want to throw things away, we could just drag them out. It's a very handy tool. Hopefully this was useful to you. If it was, you can help me out by liking, subscribing, commenting, doing all those fun YouTube things. Thanks a lot.